What is going on everyone? Riddick here and welcome to Off the Shelf Air Guns. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Umarex Legends Colt Peacemaker. This is a super cool pistol. Of course it is a replica of the Colt Peacemaker. The weight is very similar to a Colt Peacemaker. This is maybe a slight bit lighter but not by much. If you haven't handled any Colt Peacemakers, you know, regularly, you probably won't even know the difference, to be honest with you. So, now of course it does have, it's a single action, right? So, and you can drop the hammer. Now you'll note that the hammer here is kicked back a little bit. I don't want you to get discouraged from that. It's actually supposed to be like that because if it was all the way forward, it would release all the CO2 gas because it smacks forward just to, it, it smacks forward and lets out a little puff of the CO2 each time. So it actually has to sit like this. So don't think that that's something wrong with it. It's supposed to be that way, okay? Your CO2, CO2 goes right here. You pop off the grip like so. Your CO2 goes right in here. The grip actually has the Allen key built right onto it. So you'll never lose it, which is super cool. Pop that right back on. And of course it does have actual shells, which I bought extras. You can buy extras of these shells in six packs. It obviously comes with six. This is the pellet version of the Colt Peacemaker, the 177 caliber pellet. This is what the shells look like. The pellet shells are silver, okay? Pellet shells are silver. And the pellet goes right on the bottom as if it were acting like the primer. Okay, so, and they're real easy to load up. You know, you just take your pellet, boom, 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 or you can line the pellets up and push these down on, or you can leave these in the gun and just put the pellets in like that, depending on what you want to do, okay? Me, personally, I like having the extra shells that we can load them all up and just keep going, okay? So obviously, to load it, just like on the real thing, pop that open. It does have the shell ejector feature, which you're not going to use, you know what I mean? You're not going to use it on here because the shells aren't actually going to be expanding, but it is kind of fun to play with. So let's go ahead and load some up. Loads up just like so. Just like that, of course, you want to cock your hammer back one notch so that you can rotate the cylinder. Now, you're not going to get any kind of crazy FPS out of this, okay? You're not going to get any kind of crazy FPS. It's going to be about 350, 400 maximum, all right? So nothing too crazy, but this isn't, you're not going to go out and do a bunch of crazy stuff with this. This is just for simple fun in the backyard and to give you that old cowboy feel, right? So here we go. Just like that. It's actually pretty accurate, especially for a CO2 pistol. Now, mind you, you're not wasting a bunch of CO2 on a blowback feature. So you're getting all that CO2 just for the shot. So say you wanna use the ejector, pull your hammer back, one click, right? You can see it there, move your thing and thing, use your ejector, but you don't have to. You don't have to, they'll fall right out anyway. But it is kind of fun. See how it flew out. It is kind of fun to just toy around with it, right? So. All right, let's go ahead and load her back up one more time here. Now, it is a nice hot, hot summer day out here today. It's almost 90 degrees. And with that, you're gonna get a lot more efficiency out of your CO2 cartridge. 
So on a day like this, a nice hot day, okay, you're gonna get probably around a good 75 to 78 shots before it really falls off. So keep that in mind. Not bad at all. For one CO2 cartridge on a nice hot summer day, you're probably gonna get around 75 to 78 good shots before it really falls off. And it falls off quick. You get really good shots up into that point and then when it dies off, it's just like instant almost. So let's go ahead and take a few more shots here. Yeah, it's super cool. Super, super cool. And like, as you can see, you can just do this. Get your shells out. You don't have to use the ejector. It's just fun to use it, play around with, you know. But yeah, there it is. The Umarex Legends Colt Peacemaker in the 177 caliber pellet. Super cool. They do make this in a BB version. You know, you can get the uh, BB version is a little a little less money. This was about 117 on sale, so you can find the BB version on sale for even cheaper. However, they do make a John Wayne version, Duke version of this gun that either comes in the blued style or this style you see here with a custom John Wayne Duke grip on it. So, yeah, super freaking cool gun. Something just cool to have and plink around with, fun to collect, you know. And then, of course, like I said, you can buy yourself some extra shells. They are about eight or nine bucks per pack for six of them. Obviously, I have, I think there's like 24 of them there. So it's nice to be able to just load all those up and, you know, just have them ready to go, right? So, yeah really all I got to say about that. Oh, it does have a safety under here, which obviously is not on a real Colt Peacemaker, but it does have a safety that when it is engaged, it will lock up the gun completely and the gun will not function. So something else to think about. But yeah, super cool. Mm. That's really all I got to say about that. So that said, catch you all down the road.